invaded by the uh -huh. beast things, and then yes. from there, uh, I ended up going to bed. Five <laughs> yes. days have passed since then, I believe. Have they? I've been in a coma. We had like we had well we had all the days that we had to, we were doing the investigating around the city. Yeah, that's true. Oh yeah. Yeah, no, oh, that was before. Never mind. Yeah, so it's been about five days. Uh, Elvin has hired a serial killer to be head of the guards. I didn't tell him that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just recapping for our audience here. Oh, okay. <laughs> You didn't tell me that yet. Uh, oh, I didn't tell you. I'm not gonna tell you he's a serial killer. I'm just like, hey, look, I found a new oh, guard. God. I found a new. I found a new captain of the guard replacement because Doro died. Yeah, mysteriously twice. Oh, Dor Doro's dead. Yeah, oh, yes. oh yeah, Doro. Um, Jordy pushed him into the water, and then Ikarath was like, "Yeah, mate, that's a that's a duck. Drown it." <laughs> and then killed him, and then he came back as a revenant to kill Jordy, and boy was he pissed. And. Uh, and then um and then they let him kill Jordy and then they revivified him so to get rid of the revenant mm -hmm. and oh Alvin and Terry adopted uh, a kobold child legally Aww. are you still level 5 or yes okay but but yeah so so Alvin and Terry officially have a child now together yay good on that i feel <laughs> Is it bad for me to, like, think that fucking when Alvin and Krillin meet each other, they're just gonna do the Spider-Man meme? It's like, oh, thank you for all your service that you've done over the past years, and then they're both just gonna extend their hand to shake it. I, just, a part of me is gonna be so fucking happy at that. But, <laughs> I think he's gonna be more concerned... With how the captain of the guard is now gone, yep. and how Edward, he knows about Eduardo being gone, but he doesn't know who to thank. So that's gonna be fun. Yep, and Cormal, I don't know if you've seen Party One episodes at all, um, but Cormal is adorable, and you should watch I, those episodes. I probably should. I request. <laughs> <laughs> a fucking Cormal. <laughs> the small child. I don't know if uh if uh Kev's been gotten with you about Cormal and his ideas. No, he has not yet. Oh, he's got some ideas to discuss with you about Cormal. Oh boy. <clears throat> Anyways, we bring it here. Kralin has not yet, but also he will have left party too at this point, both Timey wimey, it's fine. This is happening after that predetermined event, and he's made it to this town. And he's on the outskirts of the town while Nexus is, I think, not Nexus, uh, Elvin, I think the last thing that you did was see off party, one, party one. one. Was what? We should probably get rid of party one who's up there in the top right corner. Oh, are they? And the like horse. Voltier, Elrid, Jor they're all there. Yep, there they go. Now they're all gone. <laughs> <clears throat> so wait, what was the what did you say the last thing I did was? You saw off party one. Yep, yeah, was in fact the last thing I did, correct. Yep. Um <clears throat> So at this okay, point so you have made it back to your mansion. Uh, it's, it's not. It's, it won't be my mansion fully until I win. I win the election. So, something I have to do in the end. Oh, by the way, I gotta go, guys. It was nice checking in. I'll be back in like twenty minutes. Yep. Okay. So Terry is chillaxing. Uh, you might want to remove party one from this map as well. Yeah, I'm in the <laughs> process. <laughs> oh, uh, remove Nexus. Me. <laughs> Nexus is party <laughs> four. <laughs> Terry's just sitting on the balcony on the on the arm of the bal of the stairs going up and the railing. Um Hello Terry, how are you? 
I'm good. And she smacks her staff out and press to digitate your body. <laughs> um. Well, Always good to be clean. Fair enough. Um, <laughs> is Narcissus awake? Ah, he's in, the, he's in the dining room. He brought like six plates of food in there. Something about being asleep in hibernation for like ten days. Um, I don't recall Dragonborn requiring hibernation. I should probably go check up on him. <laughs> you all right there? Someone cast this nasty spell on me, and they put me in like this dream state. I had to freaking fight a bunch of shadow things. He says as he has a um, bottle of wine in one hand. No, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just making that connection of how we originally found you. No, I know. <laughs> the bottle that I still Fucking have that I took from feet. him. <laughs> Hand him it back. Like maybe it's time I gave this back to you. <laughs> I still have the bottle. Like it's only like a, an eighth of the bottle is still full of the the alcohol you had while you're in the grave. I still have that. <laughs> well, I have a fresh bottle in my hand that I purchased um. God knows where. Did you take it out of my out of my collection as well? <laughs> um, no, it's Who fine. Knows? <laughs> Who knows? There's these um, shadow demon things and like, oh, so many of them. And then finally I woke up. I, uh, apparently demons. four or five days has passed. Yes. Um, we've been out. We've been dealing with a murder investigation. Um, okay. I, I pull out the mask from uh, Rip. Yep. Eh, Meta is dead. Who? Taken care of. The murderer. Oh, the murderer. Okay. Dora's dead too. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> Alvin looks very um, <laughs> distraught with that. <laughs> <laughs> Doro had such a oh, I don't know if did you ever learn like out of character did you ever learn Doro's backstory nope oh yeah Doro Doro has and a really we'll sad, keep it that way has a really sad backstory <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to hear the tear jerker to, nope. you have to get too attached <laughs> oh go ahead uh <laughs> Well, yes. Um, I have a new captain of the guard who's ha who's uh, assisting us now. Oh, neat. Who is he? Um, what is it? Is he, he Rip Jones? I believe is his name. Um, he sounds like a serial killer. Uh, yeah, no. Rip Jones. He'd never be a serial killer. He's a perfectly honest man. Depending on how much you socialized while. You were out and about um, in pre while you've been here for a while. Um, you may or may not have heard rumors of a serial killer because it was pretty well known. Insight check. On me? Yes. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? I guess you rolled deception against that. Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> we both rolled tens. It's just I have a plus eight. That's the real character skill coming to play here. <laughs> <laughs> Elvin was built to lie to the huddled masses. He's actually hmm. taking over the city for his own diabolical means. No, I'll I take your word on it. <laughs> I am not becoming the evil campaign that was manufactured by players. That's not happening. Stupidest <laughs> thing possible. Um, yes. Uh... Now that um, other people... Has I proceed to eat the uh, chicken leg? Oh. That I have uh, in my hand. I see you're very hungry. Why don't my own means enjoy as you see fit? I mean, oh. I haven't eaten in five days. Of course I'm going to be hungry. <laughs> as I take another bite. <laughs> That's fair. Um, yes, I'm going to have to wonder about the city as I'm going to have to talk to... That's how your uh, as your cook. No. <laughs> um, I, I never said I cooked it. Well, the cook is dead. There is no cook. Yeah. That means you cooked it. Yeah. 
what what doesn't make you say there's some random innocent person in the kitchen right now <laughs> that's been hired by me to cook me chicken <laughs> worry the looks into the kitchen <laughs> is there a man chained up in here <laughs> i mean if you want to pay for a hireling Oh, I definitely hired someone. Nox, this is not a cook. How much does a hireling cost? I mean, let's see. Let's see. We're going Google off of my... Me. Oh. Okay, how good of one do you want? I don't know. I mean, we have... Should one that was... me food poisoning. <laughs> <laughs> like so guaranteed to not get you food poisoning ever? Yeah, pretty much. A, a mediocre chef. 32 gold points per day. I'm only hiring them for one day, so... <laughs> <laughs> Thirty-two gold, Jesus Christ! Well, he said guaranteed to not give him food poisoning, and for that check, I just I do a fifty-fifty roll, and plus ten means you always win. Unless you not won. That's still well. That's terrifying. yeah. That's true. That's a lot of gold. That's very expensive. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. He he just pulled him off the streets. Like, are you able to cook? No food poisoning. And the guy's like, yeah, 32 gold? Good. Get in the kitchen. <laughs> this guy. This is like... This is, yeah, I mean, this is, this is like... We're hiring... You're hiring the gourmet from... Um, from Skyrim, who's like the, the really famous orc chef that nobody knew whose true identity until you kill them. Yeah, so Wumpa, um, you walk in and say... And... So yeah, go ahead and walk in. <laughs> oh, there is someone in here. What the hell? I'm cooking for that man. You're the lord, right? You're lord, right? Uh, yes. You, are, you need cook? Um, I might. <laughs> what do you do. pay per month? I'm, I'm missing the cook now. What do you pay per month? I, I don't. I I can't match thirty two fucking gold. <laughs> That's hiring rate. This consistent job. You can pay me in lodging too. I mean, yeah, you can stay here. I don't. If that's what you would like. So, what you offer? I have great skill. Ten stars, some would say. Ten, ten fucking stars. Um. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, so. Fucking <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out like how much more this man makes than a than a standard. Oh yeah, okay. So then let's divide that by two. Uh, he makes five thousand eight hundred and forty times the amount of gold that a, a commoner makes in a a, a day, a year. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, <laughs> that's that's what thirty two. If you're making thirty two gold a day. Um, yeah, that's yeah, that's what it is for a hireling for a skilled laborer, apparently, according to whatever this is. I, I but he's not going to work for that much at a consistent job. Okay, um, that's his freelancer rate. And then on top of that, if you're going to give him lodging, then you'll yeah, lodging cuts into that less. too. Well, I mean, okay. Well, let's see. I had oh, Dog Pound City. Yeah, it's the problem is I have to think about how much I have remaining, and I'm That's probably going to have to eat part out of my pocket, too, here. He's a good chef, though. I Yeah, he is a good chef. That is a thing. It's just the... You could, like, hire to, out, out, like, your dining hall for, like, nobles or something. I I, I walk in with a chicken, with a chicken uh, leg in my hand, just like, we can think about it. Real quick, one second. Oh, Let me... me roll for that chicken. Oh boy, that is some damn finger licking good chicken at a twenty-eight. 
It's nice. If you want to convince Alvin to hire this person, just give him some fucking chicken. I, I mean, you don't need to make a decision right this second. That's true. It's something we can discuss over. You, we need to you, go see, you see me looking at the, 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 the average gold income of the city. I have, like, this long list of papers going through all the <laughs> numbers. I'm like... Uh, just, you know what you need to bring over? back? The Fight Club. Unfortunately, that's been turned into a church. We can add a new one, but we'd have to we'd have to set up a ske- uh, construction team and a designated area and uh, all that kind of stuff. Hey, Riley, how that, you doing? It's a source of income. It is, in fact, a source of income. I abs- absolutely also need to hire out my uh, um, my mercenaries as well so to have them do their work. Um, increase gold income there too. Yeah. What? Well, well, Wumpa, you said your name was? Yes, Wumpa. Well, we'll discuss this a little bit. I have your number. We're going to need to discuss this further because we need to go through our finances. We're not 100% sure yet. We'll let you know. I've got 25 gold here, and then I've got 10 gold here on a monthly. Dragon Man seems to be counting still. Yeah, that's us going through our finances. As I start pulling Alvin away <laughs> into his office, okay, that would be over here. Now that the 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 alchemist is dead, uh, yes. No, it's just don't do the counting in front of him. Rude. Well, I, like I said, I don't have as much gold left over from if if I ultimately get uh, take over as mayor for this city, the the gold income of the city is down quite a bit to make the changes that is necessary at the moment. Um, How much do you think it would cost to get the fight club up and running? Well, it depends. How big of a fight club do you want? Well, how big was the fight club that was here before? Very big. Very big, and unfortunately that area is now going to be transformed. Yeah, that whole area here was the fight club. Yeah, okay. We don't need as big of a fight club that we did before. And like, remember, what's... you gotta win the vote, so you gotta apportion portions of the city. Yeah. I was yeah. I was actually gonna be asking that, because I was like, how, how much do I have to apportion now that most of my op- opponents have been eliminated? <laughs> or are they just gonna pick a random asshole off the street and make him the one who wins? Oh, there's gonna be a new point. candidate. Oh, okay, fair enough. The no, the people they want their they want their shit. Yeah, so that's Rashok's territory. Hey, I'm here. Yo, you're very quiet. Hey. Oh yeah, no, I'm just speaking softly. Is that anyone? Uh, unfortunately, that's not. Tombs. Who's the city tombs, right? Yes, it is. Uh, turn my gain up a little bit. Is that any better? A little better, maybe a little more gain. We we can always build it outside of there the we city as well. I mean, it can be designed. Um, we can also expand the city, but at the time being, it's uh, the cr- I'm crunched on on the numbers here, and I've only got about thirty five gold remaining left in the city budget. Um, no, that's why I'm asking. How much do you think it's going to cost? If we try to expand at a fight club. At a fight club on the outskirts of the city, let me think. Well, let's use let's use um the one of the churches as our grounds to uh determine gold costs. Hold on, I need to pull up my word document with all the notes yep. I wrote down on this. You could also host it phone. in somewhere else. What about the mayor place? You want to turn the mayoral estate into the fight club. Or the sewers. The sewers. <laughs> Currently would definitely be down for hosting that. We could and do look, there's the cellars. Let me, let me, are, are you on this page? Yeah, look at the cellars. Look at some of yeah. these circular rooms. I mean, look at I, that circular room know. right there, 37. 
I don't know if we're going to be using the entirety of that area, so if we would want to, we could actually start hosting the Fight Club out there. Look, there's the a dining room for after Fight Clubs when everybody wants to get brunch together. Yeah, and there's even a <laughs> lodging room for people to rest them. down after they get their ass yeah, handed to yeah, them. Yeah, can, you could can hire a nurse or something to, to tend to people's wounds. I this mean, is like the most ethical Fight Club. Sure, and we can run it over the... I mean, it's also... The problem no, also, is... is... The revenue would come from the audience. It would come That's from the, the audience. Well, think about this. I do plan on opening up the mayoral district estate uh, open for nobles to come spend some time, as I do attempt. Uh, tend to hire some new staff there, now that the old staff is Now, where there. is this on the city map? Uh, it's not on the city map. Yeah, it's, on the it's world a little map. bit of ways. But actually, if you had that really good cook, you could you could have him hired here, and then it could like be running like the 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 Alvin B and B. Yeah, nobles. I don't plan I don't plan on staying at the distant manor to be honest. That's a delightful. That's a city. wholesome plan. <clears throat> yeah, we can we can run a B and B and have a dinner and a show with Wampa and the Fight Club there. Yeah, we can always host a fight club there. It's not the worst idea. At least that way we can avoid... Worst case scenario, we'll just need to renovate a little bit. Yeah, it probably won't be too much of a problem. Let me... Where the f... I need to figure out where that document is. While you're looking for that document, we'll go back to the city where Kralin's doing something. Ah, yes. Fantastic. Uh, I think I need to pull Kralin onto the map here. Uh, Kray well, he's not in the city yet. He's just coming out to the outside of it, I guess. Yeah. Also, Alvin, don't forget, I don't know if you've discussed Terry with Terry, her income from Macy's. I don't, yeah, we. I don't even know what the income for the Macy's is. That's not part of my chart at, at all. Yeah, well, you haven't discussed, like, yeah. Shared finances with Terry. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we can... <sighs> I mean, there's a pot... So, uh, if I was to ask... Quick question, because we discussed this beforehand. If I was to ask Terry to do the... Uh, rebuild the slave market and then have it just renovated, would that reduce the cost of um, the, the slave market's transformation into the Flit tr Strip Club Church? Um, it would depend. It, it dep yeah, I mean, because before you'd be wrecking the whole thing down and building it from scratch. If you can propose good ideas, the ways that you're going to turn that space into a church, and we can make those changes, we can certainly. Well, I mean, it. I need to. I'll talk to Icarath because I know exactly how. I, he has an idea of exactly how he wants it to look, and it's. I'm going off of Icarath's plans. Yeah. So, I mean, you can get in and grab a screenshot of that map at any time. Okay. But um, but yeah, if you just like throw some paint over it and be like, "This is what it's gonna be," I can give you a proposed budget based on the how few changes are made. Okay. Um, that that was just the curiosity in the end, but yep. um, <clears throat> that's uh that's for a different moment. But yeah, so and going um, back to the fight club. Now think about it. <laughs> there is one person I did meet a while back. If, if I ever run into him, I think he would be a good candidate to host it, too. Uh, yes, who would that be? I forgot his name. Hold on. Uh, I believe his name was Kralin, which reminds me, I still owe them a little bit of money. Do I? Am I? Is this coming out of my pocket? No, that's coming out of my pocket. Oh, I okay. Hired I hired them for a job a while back. Fair enough. All right, and Kralin, you are on the outskirts yeah. of the city doing something. He's he's coming up to the gate, and he's sort of, like, walking through. <clears throat> uh, he's probably going to, you know, knock on the guardhouse, see if they're still incompetent, but, you know. So the guardhouse, let me flip over to that map, because we got a map for that. You better believe it. Oh, although, yeah. Oh, oh, boy. Although, I better make sure I grab him. He has a map for, like, 90% of the buildings. There is so much. Let me hide all the areas. All right, and let me delete me myself. Yep. Okay. So, do you remember who was alive still, by any chance? 
the three people in that store in that storeroom because I saw it. Those are all alive. Um, that we lost one the one person who we went there and saw their body. Um, so that person we already knew was dead, okay. and Doral's dead. So there's only the three guards plus Rip now. In hey, meta, do you have premium for roll twenty? Um, I don't have the top tier, but I have like the medium tier. Okay. There's and something to do afterwards if you want to look into it after. Uh, dynamic the... lighting that kills some people's computers. It's when you do dynamic lighting with um, something else. Uh, no, with re with remembrance, yes, but no, it's just like in general, people have talked about that dynamic lighting uses way too much data. Yep. Um, yeah. All right. So um, this this so... door thing here is all crumpled and like so, just kind of like leaning up against the hole in the wall yeah he's gonna <clears throat> Carlin's gonna try like push it off to the side or if he has to he'll just reach up to the top and sort of drop it back onto the ground um, after knocking of course because he wants to... i'm not sure how degraded the door is as you said since it's just leaning up against it i mean you can you can it's, your, your hand hurts after you knock on it. I mean, it's sharp, but you you do that and it goes, Who's coming here? Because I have no idea who, what the fuck his voice ever was. Was it a Batman yeah. voice? Anybody <clears throat> remember? I don't remember. Do I need to go pull up the VOD? I I don't remember. I, I'd say go with the Batman voice, I guess. I don't Who's know. here? <clears throat> Oi. Squalin. Doral's still around, he still owes me some gambling money. Doral's dead. Bullshit. Drowned by a kraken. Oh, oh, drowned by a kraken. Are you serious? <laughs> do, do you hear how this sounds coming through a door right now? Just open the hell up. Uh, it's, it's not locked, just, just kind of pull it over and then jump back. <laughs> okay, the trailing's gonna like... Do that. Dex save. <laughs> hey. Uh. Damn you for not <laughs> the Dex. Okay, 13. Yeah, you're able to jump 16. back as it just kind of falls over and crashes and a big dust, like, just stuff just kicks up. And you can see in and it looks, well, like there was a fire. There's blood on the ground over there that Ed's cleaning up. Hero's trying to clean up some of the debris. Um, uh, but, yeah, it's fucked in here. What the f What happened here? Did you guys get... Uh, I I don't know. Did who something, the like... Who fucked this place up? Wasn't it... Was it... Jake? Was um, it Cyrus? Or was it... Was it Cyrus. Voltaire? Cyrus is the one who did it. Oh, I know. <clears throat> um, from what I've... From what I've been told... An edgy... Knight of some sort slash stripper. <laughs> Why do we have so many strippers in these campaigns, goddamn? <laughs> the stripper uh, burnt the place down because he didn't like Doro. That's. Uh... I don't want to say that's out of character for Doro to piss someone off, but to that extreme? <laughs> No, uh, so, and he's like taken he's taken aback a little bit he's like so you weren't kidding he's no. safe falls Shit. is a silly place bump, ba -dum, bump, bump. <laughs> if someone <laughs> please tell me that ed or hero was doing that after they heard so falls was a silly place <laughs> Uh, Maybe. <laughs> Kralin's just gonna like scratch his head and just feel like, well, I, I, I guess I give my condolences for Doro. I never really knew him. I think it hit uh, the interim mayor a little harder than me, though. Well, all right then. But um, are the gods now nowadays at least you know a little better at their jobs? I mean, 
No, I mean, I'm competent. Uh, I can't say much for those over there. But Alvin's promised me a, a, a budget to improve the guards. Who the hell's Alvin? The interim mayor. The old mayor, whatever the fuck his name was. I forget what his name was. Mayor uh, Mysterious. Did, did they know he was murdered or did they just think he mysteriously went missing? I forget at this point. Okay, so, um... <clears throat> From my explanation, and I remember I rolled an extremely high deception check for this, it was he killed himself. Oh, yes, the old mayor killed himself. Something, or well, that's the rumor. It's <sighs> suspicious that at about the same time, Eduardo picked up shop and left town. I... I see, yes, that series of events makes sense. And in his head, he's thinking Eduardo definitely killed the fucking mayor. Uh, alright. And he's just gonna, like, slowly back out and say, what? I'll be around in uh, Cephalus for a little while, in case you want to send your boys down to me. I'll see if the old fighting pit's still up and running in case Dente fucked it up. Boy, but those motherfuckers couldn't fight their way out of a paper bag. What do they do now? You know what? They mostly I'll drink. Go... Ah, well, you can't blame them. I'll go deal with it. When I'm done, I'll send word. You can send your boys down. I'll toughen them up a little bit. But uh, if you want, after they're done cleaning up this, <clears throat> just uh, have them do some squats and some jogs. Because they're going to be needing a lot more running exercise. And I, you know, just sort of slap my thigh off very awkwardly. And I'll say, well, if that's all I had to say. I guess I'll catch you later. What's your name? Rip Jones. Ah, Rip Jones. Uh, well, I guess that name's fitting since, you know, R.I.P. Doro, but I will, <laughs> I will see you. And Kralin's just gonna sort of like back out very awkwardly, and he's Put just the door like, back up on your way out. Oh, sorry. And he's just gonna like you know get the door up using his shoes, and he's just gonna push it back into place. All right, you do that. All right, and he is off to see the mayor and possibly kick his ass. Alright, so now you're approaching the mayor's house. Go ahead, open the yeah. door. Oh, yay. Yeah, go ahead, open <clears throat> the door. Yeah. <laughs> Kerlin's, Kerlin's gonna walk up and he's gonna be like, Oh, jeez. Well, new mayor, new day. And he's just gonna, like, push open the door. Oh, no. I'm, one second. And, one second. And look. Yeah, okay. One, two, three. Oh, four. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, five, six, seven, eight. What's your armor class? Uh, my AC is 17. Okay. So two of them hit you. Two of the heads reach out, bite you, and hit you. Okay. okay. I'm separating out the dice. There we go. And latch on to you and kind of, uh, you need to roll a strength at disadvantage because okay, there's two of yep. them. Go ahead. Yep. Okay. Disadvantage strength saving throw. Uh, yep. Uh, is that two or is it just like one saving throw just at disadvantage? One at disadvantage. Okay. Then that's just a 12. Okay. So you Rip. take three. Six, eleven damage, and we'll Ooh. see what happens with the pinning. <clears throat> wait, 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 wait. I'm going to spend a moxie point. So before I do that, yep. Uh, one d ten plus five. Uh, so seven damage is negated. So. Okay, you do that. Yep. <laughs> 
right. and he's just gonna like sort of fall back. He's gonna oh fuck fifteen. <laughs> While this happens, it's like, do you hear that? So yeah, so you so you hear a roar noise, and you see the he- two of the heads like come out. So they strike you for that much damage that you took, and pin you to the ground. And you see Terry jump up off of well, what looks like a lolly, just kind of like a, an anime waifu lolly right there. Looks exactly yeah. like that. Hops off the banister and says, Elvin, there's an intruder. Oh, God fucking damn it, I leave adventure e- one day. <laughs> every time someone try, uh, you know, you would think they'd knock and then. I would come out to speak with him. What, Miss Lippy? Uh, as a speak to the devil himself. <laughs> uh, I look at the man. That's the devil. I was expecting I'm, more. I'm gonna look at Maxis. I'm gonna be like, get your fucking bit off. I have to get you a coat made of him. Can you get the hydra off of him? I go up to in front of Miss Lippy. Now, Miss Lippy, this is not a person we need to kill immediately. I understand that he is intruding. Now, here you go. And I pull out a little bit of honey and hand it to her and feed it to her. Oh, she laps that up real quick and does a little little hydrocordal like. <laughs> no. And, and let's let's go, Kralin. Thank you, Miss Lippy. Oh, well, thank you for saying that I'm not someone that you need to kill immediately. So, Alvin, remember that guy I was just speaking about? <laughs> The one that you owe money. Yeah, that's him. I'm just oh. gonna look up at Naxus and I'm just gonna wave my hand. Nope. Ah, nah. Uh, I'm all, I'm all good. And he's just gonna like sort of, you know, cover up the chunks of rock on his arms that were just ripped out by Miss Lippy. Uh, sincerest apologies. Miss Lippy has uh, attacks most people who are new, and I have to inform her of who not to attack. That's what I hope to change when I hire a beast tamer to uh, t- t- take care of her and help with the making sure she doesn't lash out at everyone she sees. So the strange thing here is that the, the Hydra is not well enough trained to to figure out things for itself. The strange thing is not the fact that you have a Hydra... In, in the main hall of a royal manor. Oh, yeah, no. Kralin <laughs> does not give a shit about the Hydra. He's like, oh, okay. Hydra, that's fine. <laughs> okay. He's just gonna, like, stretch, and he's gonna say, yeah, wild animals can... Well, not wild, but... <sighs> pets can get a bit unruly from time to time, so I understand. Uh, Joe, thank you for the bits, Downhill Muffin. Go ahead and say. Uh. So, what's been uh, going on around here since I've been gone? Everything seems a little bit, well, not cleaner, but it seems like there are less people doing drugs. Is it almost like you can breathe for the first time? Yeah, it's like I'm not trying to constantly hold my shirt up from cigarette and, you know, smoke. <laughs> I don't we, think... uh, go back into the office. Yes, we should probably discuss this in uh, place, in closed doors. Nah, uh, sure. Why not? Are you moving Info? on? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, yeah, I'm moving on. Thanks, yeah, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> Do you get what you want? I don't know what I want at this point. <laughs> I don't think he's getting the reference. I don't think he's getting the reference. I don't think oh my god, reference. wait. I'm sorry. Since you've been you... gone! <laughs> I can't I fucking I hate you all. I know the (laughs) since you've been gone. (laughs) Well I believe uh proper introductions are required here. Allow allow me to introduce myself, good sir. I am Alvalek Malkarth Venstein Harvich Javania. Everyone here tends to call me Alvin. Hmm. Well, nice to meet you, Alvin. I uh, am... And he's gonna, like, extend his hand, and he's gonna say, you can call me... Uh... Elias. Uh, 
Uh, Elias, or shall I be calling you by the name I've been informed of already? Ah, oh, god damn. Okay, ah, uh, yeah, sure. Elias Can... is just my alias. That is fine. If you wish to go by your alias in this city, I will no. call you Elias. No, it's perfectly fine. If you already know my name, then it seems quite uh, counterproductive to introduce <laughs> you to a fake one. My apologies. I've already been informed by my uh, by my my co uh, colleague and friend here, as I point to Naxus. Ah. Well, we were, you we need to worry. Just, we were actually just speaking about you. Oh. Funny enough. Uh, is this something that you would like to address with me, or is it something that, you know, you would like to address behind closed doors? <laughs> let us first, uh, before we discuss that in detail, let us first catch you up. As you asked, what is happening with the city, did you not? Yeah, I haven't been here in about two years. Well, <laughs> kind of weird. Ah, I, you know... Hmm. I never and got it, down to the In the middle, part. sorry, in the middle of your sentence, Kralin, you see Terry point the staff at you and a blue light shoots out of it and your entire, everything on you is restored to pristine, like, new condition. It, he's, like, way, way more confused now. <laughs> like, his fists were up when he saw the blue light, but they're sort of, like... Like, like brand new, what? like never been worn levels of clean, including your skin, your face. You are like squeaky, what? Clean, squeaky out fresh out the shower clean, but without the moisture. I... Allow me to introduce you to my, my beloved, uh, the Archmage of Clean, Terry. Ah. I'm 3,000 well. years old. That's why it's okay. He, the Kralin is just going to nod and be like, Yes, my own personal love interests uh, happen to be very old as well. <laughs> um. But, actually, I do have... Since you can make things clean, and he's gonna, you know, summon and pull out, you know, Erwin from his coat, do you mind cleaning her mind? Because if I have to endure one more barrage of dirty puns, I am going to throw her off a bridge. Sadly, I can't clean mines yet. I've been working on that for the last 300 years, uh, but I haven't cracked it yet. Ah. So well, we have cleaning mines, and you also are trying to work on immortality now. Yeah. You certainly have a lot up on your, on your plate, my dear. What do you think I do while you're gone? Just roll around? I gotta study. We're gonna live no. forever, ever, ever. That's oh. Ah, that um, right. fervor is very heartwarming and a sentiment that I, too, can share. But. So, <laughs> well, um, so you haven't been here for two years. Did you grow up here in Safe Falls? Yes, it was my home. I originally ran the fighting pits when I, well, my friends and I actually started it when we were only around... 10 or 11, and then, you know, a couple of years passed, and eventually, I decided I decided to go adventuring with the support of my beloved. Ah. Oh. Well, um, I'm surprised I didn't, well, actually, I'm not too surprised. I didn't step down to the fighting ring for very often. Uh, I mean, that's I was, fine. I was, I was the was... inspector of this city. At one point. Also, Who outside of that, it is just so weird listening to backstory that I remember approving, like, how many months ago? A while when back? Started? So long ago, I'm like, I remember that backstory from the very beginning. Yeah. <laughs> well, to be fair, I wasn't much of a face. I'd usually just hide in one of the closets or bathrooms whenever anyone who actually wore a tie came around. Ah. Uh. That that makes more sense. Why, if I was walking around the city looking for things, why I would never see you. Um, but yes, I was the inspector here for about five years before leaving. Hmm. That was when the mayor was replaced with the mayor that was under the control of Eduardo. Oh, yes, Eduardo. 
Whatever happened to that slimy, greasy bastard? I heard uh, that he's moving up shop to a tomb. May. He... Yes. Yeah, he is. He left due to the fact that not but a few days ago, Rashok showed up here. Wait. Rashok is in, you know, crazy dragon Rashok, the one that blew up the oh, portal? You know her very well. Yes, I... that was her. I know her because she tried to kill me. But... I know her because I, because we fought her in her original cult, cult standing in Rokoge. We also <laughs> met her here in the city. Oh, was has she been dispatched of, or uh, what's the situation well, there? Let's just say Rorschach has retained has has revealed that she was under the control of a mind flayer and was not all herself for the time being, and is now starting to go around the world, destroying any remnants of the Novastean Church. As you say that, uh, Kralin's, you know, a head perks up and his fake horn falls off. And he's just going to be like, oh, oh, well, <laughs> that actually coincides with my goals exactly. That's fabulous. Uh, so you're from the Fight Club, correct? Uh, yes, yes I am. Well, I guess it should be informed that it is no more. His, his left eye, like the fake eye, just sort of squints, and it like twitches a little bit. Did Not, not by my standard, it was Rorschach destroying all remnants of Eduardo and the Novastain church within the city. Oh, 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 oh thank goodness. Oh, okay, that's that I can forgive. Well, um, and if you're worried if someone died within it, I did have parts of the city evacuated, and most people moved into a part of the city where they wouldn't be hurt. Oh, um, wonderful. So, as far as casualties, I do not believe anyone died uh, at that time. The... Rorschach, we ended up not fighting. Instead, we had to deal with creatures of the Shadow Realm showing up and handle oh, them instead. Including a creature with like 600 HP. Yes. So, those damnable things exist elsewhere? They are pouring out of the forest to the south of here. Yeah, um, there's also a church up in uh, Araford that actually was creating some of them. As oh, we were led to believe. Yes, along with the assistance of another group of people. Um, I believe they called themselves the Blood and Bubblegum. Uh, that... Came here and it, we ran into them. Uh, and they assisted us in defense of the city. Well, the... he's like sort of scratching his chin and he's going to be like, well, that is... Certainly something. <laughs> um, that is quite a name, though. But hopefully I get to meet these people someday. It's... I believe that it would be an honor to meet the people that helped save my hometown. And we there was another group here, which was the group I was a part of, the Chaos and Cupcakes. Is, is there some sort of formality with the first name of a group starting with, like, a either an abstract concept or something that is normally gruesome and then ending it with a food product. I don't understand why it keeps going that way. I I mean, we were just... Never mind. My, my group's name does not need to be said to further this trend, but... <laughs> I mean, it's one, of the, it's one of the strange things that we named ourselves that... And from what I was told from the Blood and Bubble Gum, as they made the stop in Rokoge, which is where we be, uh, we decided on name, that apparently they're selling cupcakes of of us now. Ooh. Wait, this is news to me. <clears throat> yeah, hands on I, one of these. I haven't been to Rokoge in a long time. Hey, maybe if sometime you guys need to head up, I don't mind stopping with you because some cupcakes definitely sound. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, got some wow. interesting shit going on. I'm just going to say. Yeah, but I I do think I'd have to see what's going on and tell them to calm the fuck down just a little bit. Oh, absolutely. I mean, 
you can't have people in a fervor now. Uh, that town so... seems a little obsessed with me, and it's not a good obsession. Oh, try... <laughs> oh they're obsessed Trust with Callie me, now, know. too. There's a whole church named after him now. That's taking a weird <laughs> turn. Oh, boy. Lovely. Oh, yeah. Obsession I am all too familiar with. Uh, so. Hmm? Say, up by uh, Rokoge. Mm -hmm. And he's just going to, like, sort of try to remember the map of the world because I can't remember what mountain Paul lived in. Uh, never mind. Uh, what, what are we talking about? I've oh. done some travel up north past Rokoge as I was going to be heading to the Wyfall Mines at one point, but I never fully got my investigation there done before heading back down to Rokoge, uh, which is because of the rumors going around there. Oh, that's actually something that's quite interesting. You were up at those mines? The Wife Falls. I mean, in a, I tried to enter, but things there were too dangerous for me to do on my own. So I had to do a little bit of research at the library uh, a little bit south from there. Oh, so were you not able to get an accurate, you know, reading within? Unfortunately, mm. a, an investigator on his own, in his early stages of magic understanding, is kind of hard for him to handle... Uh, multitudes of monsters at the same time. No, no, I, I, <laughs> he's like, I completely understand. Uh, magic, to me, it, ugh, magic's weird. Sometimes, especially, you know, in the beginning stages, it feels like the whole world is caving in on you, and then eventually it pays off very, very lucratively, but... The climb there is still a climb, but yeah. oh, that's a pity. However, I would like to thank you, both of you personally, for taking charge of this town. Um, and I'm glad that Eduardo is here, or well, not here in it rather, but now that he has been dealt with, I believe that this town may start to flourish a little bit more. Yes. Well, I have a feeling that if Eduardo ever does come back, uh, Miss Rashak will... Oh, I dread to think what she's going to do to him. Oh, Real quick, trust you... me. Do, do you plan to tax the churches? Huh? I don't... I don't think I would. I'm just because I just want to remind you, one of your churches is literally a strip club. Okay, so <laughs> oh. we we gotta I gotta figure out on that one. <laughs> I, I, I love the church that. of every god though. It's just gonna be like some pious people, some grot followers, you know, fighting and cheering each other on, and then just the next door down, there's just a full on strip club with night lights and all, with like black lights and all that. Hey, I'm trying to handle the the city delicately with the churches. Uh, well, uh, well, I guess I have to first win mayoral election here. Oh, I'm sure that you'll do just fine. I mean, so far, things have been quite all right, especially compared to how I remember the town. I can yes. breathe without feeling suffocated. I'm more worried that the nobles will use every ounce of gold in their pocket to attempt to undermine my my election process. Yeah. Bum, bum, bum. Kralin is going to oh, say yeah. with a stone cold face, well, I mean, I hope that I don't need to use every ounce of my muscle to undermine their ability to walk. Huh. So. <laughs> Please don't tell them I, that, you, that you're working with me in that case. <laughs> oh, trust me. No, I, your name, gone, the second I, that I get in there. Yeah, I think that, I think the some of the nobles have may have heard my plans to cut tax rate from a 45% to a 10%. Ooh, that seems like it would help a lot of smaller, you know, less the, monopolized industries. Yeah, the the lower class people cannot survive on a forty five percent tax rate. 
10% is a suitable living for any any creature. Yes. Actually, anyway. speaking of which, I, I probably need to go see my mom. I need to see how much my, uh... How much my help has been getting her by. But, was there something else that you needed to discuss with me while I'm still around? Oh, um... We were thinking of re-establishing a fight club within the city, and we were discussing the logistics of that. Oh, well, I'd be more than happy to. Uh, do you possibly have a meeting place that you'd like to go, just so then we can uh, sit and talk about this in a more appropriate setting? I, well, I, I look at Alvin. Huh? I look at Alvin, and I'm like, we should probably discuss this further at the location we're thinking about. Yes, but he needs to speak with his mother, and I also need to set up for the election. And, um, no, I know. Half... I'm not saying this second. Yeah, it's a half day's travel to go to the location from here. Ooh. It's, well. the, it's the distant mayoral dis estate. I don't plan on ever using it. Um, so I was thinking maybe to lend... Le it is a very nice place. I was going to staff it with a few workers to... And then have... Uh, nobility stay there and charge them. We could add the fight club as part of an entertainment section in the below and also to increase the strength of anyone who would like to test their medal. Ah, you know what? I believe that is a perfect idea. Because, not, I believe that having a fight club would be a great benefit to this town and it's God in case they ever partook, which I would certainly encourage, but... Not only that, but having the entertainment be a source of revenue would be quite a smart idea indeed. And a ten-star cook. And a ten. Oh yes, I did. You need to figure out how. Yeah, if he stays over there in that in that building, he he probably definitely cut his price down because I'd let him stay in the mayoral the mayoral distant estate, which is even nicer than this place. Why are there <laughs> weird things when I click on you, Nexus? Oh, it's all of his, it's his, um, that's his macros that he can just automatic, automatically use. Okay. That's weird. Trust me, Matt got obsessed with macros <laughs> the other day. Huh, well, um, whatever you need to do, by all means do so. I won't uh, keep you up. Uh, I probably need to go about the city figuring out which... Uh, whose pocket I'm going to have to jump into in order to oh. make sure this city if... gets a proper mayor, not a mayor who wants to just set it right back to the dark days it was before. Oh, well, if you'd like, I could possibly show you around on my way. Um, yes, I never spent too much time with the... I spent as little time as I could with the nobility of this town as they sickened me. Well, my mother lives in the same sector of town, but I, I do... Would say no ill about your mother. No, trust me, she is not a nobleite. She's no nobility. It's just, you know, with the fare that I was able to send to her, then we were able to get her a nice place. So I think I should be able to help since they might know her and recognize my name, and it might have a little safety in their eyes. Alright, that works. If you wish. Oh, no, I have no problem going up over there with you. Thank you. Now then, and, uh, Kralin is going to pull... He's... Oh! Wait, hold up. I still have one... Okay, uh, he is going to pull out his last bottle of, uh, Dragon's Piss? Shit, I still had one. Okay, and he is going to, you know, hold it out to Elvin, and he's going to say, As a gift to my new mayor, I think that it's only appropriate that I get you something that we've acquired on our travels. Ah, um, I greatly appreciate it. it. It's not actual piss, it's it's alcohol. Oh, yes, I will... Alan I, has quite the collection. I have a um, mercenary group that 
I somehow inherited with my generous uh, donation of gold in reestablishing the mercenary group, and they have now named it and put it under my control, partially. So I'll put it in my storage of alcohol there. Ah, fantastic. And possibly when I'm done and we're done establishing the Fight Club, you might want to invite them over. Getting a nice rowdy group of individuals to kickstart the project might help, you know, build favor among the common folk. Of course, of course, of course. <clears throat> um, yes, uh... Oh, there's something upstairs I need to handle before we depart. One second. Oh, also, I gotta go grab my Chinese food. I'll be right back. Yeah, I might have to go here in a moment. Unexpectedly. Oh, uh -oh. okay. I'm not sure. I'll let you guys know if, as it happens, but I'm not sure. Um, as I don't think I ever told Soul that it, the coast is clear. Soul! Soul! There's nothing wrong anymore. The murderer has been apprehended. Damn and, he has, and he was killed in the process, unfortunately. He wouldn't come quietly. Well, what are you going to do? What happens. am I going to do? Yeah. I just have to win the election now. Um, but yes, the... At the, there's no murderer wandering about the city looking to kill people anymore, so the, you're safe for the time for now. Hopefully, no more people are looking to eliminate uh, uh, anyone else again. I think that's the last we will see of the murderer and any others. <sighs> Have a good day to you, Soul. I just wanted to inform you of your sa uh, it is safe now. Well. I'll all right, I'll go back home for a bit. He's just going to be here, because that's going to pretend he's at home, in case okay. we need him. I will... Um, when Saul leaves the building, because I just want I wanted to make sure he's gone before I say this, and I'm going to go up to Noxus, and I'm going to whisper to him. So... The new captain of the guard. Matt, are you are you here? Oh, he's muted. Matt, you're muted. He might be someone might be talking to him. And that's why he's muted. Oh, he's on be right back, that's why. Okay. Everyone's gone. Woo! I was gonna bring up the whole thing that I have that Rip actually is a murderer and I hired him and there was one stipulation in order to make sure he doesn't go around killing anyone else. I have to inform him of that. Uh... Oh no. <laughs> Just leave a note on the table. <laughs> Written? I could write it in a draconic and no one else would understand except me and him. There you go. Yeah, I would I would be informing him about the whole um having to eliminate Soul in the end in a public trial showing that he what he what he did was wrong. That was my stipulation with Rip. And if I don't follow through with that stipulation, I fucking die. So there you go. My life is on the line on this one. And you got Terry in there. I don't know. What do we well, do? Um, how are you doing today, my dear? Well, tough to keep cleaning up after your friends. You see how much blood was in the foyer? Well, who? What other blood showed up here? Who else that guy's blood. blood. Is oh, him. I, I understand. We, I really do need to get I need to get Lippy down to a point where she's a little bit better and not lashing out at everyone. Um. <laughs> oh, I'm back. Sorry. Welcome back. 
But yes, I'm, I'm terribly sorry having you do this all, all the time, darling. All right, you owe me. And she kind of walks out and cleans up the fucking shit. And goes, I, don't know, I, don't fucking know. I could oh. clean it as well, darling, if you don't want to. Well, you just don't seem very interested after we got married. That is... <laughs> that is certainly something. <laughs> yeah, it does certainly seem that is certainly something. Um, I'm terribly apologize, my dear. I'm very busy. As soon as I get this election out of the way, I'll have a lot more time on my hands. And she kind of puts her hand to her mouth and kind of like chuckles to herself, and then she walks out the door. What does that mean? <laughs> what does that it, mean? It means, if I have learned anything from my experience with magical women, it means you are either leaving with extra bones tonight, if you catch my drift, or oh, you are dear. leaving with none. Oh no. <laughs> I, I don't like where either of those go in the end. Carlin's gonna pat Alvin on the shoulder and just say, at least you don't have to live with her in your head. You can hide your thoughts. Ha <laughs> ha! Unless she somehow learns to create a prestidigitation effect that allows her to read my mind. That's the worst possibility. Um, if she does, then I am so, so sorry. You'll just have to learn to think without thinking. <laughs> That's the problem, I think, almost always. <laughs> Ah. She seems lovely, though. I'm sure that oh, you guys make a great couple. She's, uh, a dear. Um, she was part of, to be honest, she was part of the group of people who was a little overly obsessed with me at the time. Mmm. I mean... But I somewhat kind of fell for her charms as well. But, um... Yes! <laughs> it was it was a roller coaster of events to be honest having to set up for the defense of a city and all of that oh I'm sorry that we couldn't be here for that oh it's not a problem we handled it in the end um, one Actually person did. did die but he came back immediately so you know that was fine Ah, and the Kraken helped in the defense Oh, yeah, I haven't brought up the Krakens yet. <laughs> yeah, there's Krakens out in the water, actually, and they're going to be part of the naval defense of the city. Kralin just sort of, like, Bearded looks Krakens at you. At that. He's, he's gonna, like, <laughs> yeah, he's gonna, like, nod, and then, you know, look down a bit, and he's like, ah, alright. And then he hears Bearded, and he's like, I'm so... I'm quite sorry. What, you, what did you say? How, what? Bearded Krakens. They're Thalrax Large kids. orange beards. Did... It seems everyone is running into them. Have you run into them as well? Um, I have been landlocked for the majority of my journey. Oh. Um, have... Are you okay? Huh? Yes, I'm perfectly fine. Those bearded, right. or those orange bearded krakens are the children of a dwarf in my part. That was a part of my group. And the man that has the courage to make children with a kraken. It's a weird I shall never situation. Know. It it is a weird situation. He had children with a kraken. Uh, I mean, yes. that's almost as weird as the nearsighted beholder that I befriended. He read. He rode a kraken in Rokoke. Ah, I am. I am sure he did. <laughs> I am sure he did. <laughs> I am not elaborating further on that. <laughs> I know what it's just an imprinting ability, a thing that krakens have, but I'm just gonna leave it with that. <laughs> Krillin's gonna like take out a, the uh, bottle of cheap, you know, alcohol that Asteri got him at the beginning of the adventure, and sort of like take yeah. a sip and like, yeah, I don't need to remember this shit. <laughs> well, um. Is Matt back? No, he's not back yet. Hmm. Um, 
do we want do we do we want to head to your your mom's house for now and when no hey look matt's back hey Hello, sorry boy. you just missed the funniest thing ever me talking about thalrax kids yeah he's like well he wrote a kraken in rakogie i didn't elaborate any further than that that's all <laughs> i said and all he did was just take a sip of some cheap shitty whiskey you hear some knocking on the door Oh, uh, okay. Th so I look at Craven. Uh, best do that whenever you come up to a door in case there's another Hydra in it. Um, <laughs> open the door. Hello, yeah. Rip. Miss Slippy, do not bite Rip. Hello, Rip. And then Craven's going to poke his head in and he's going to be like, oh, hey. It's been reported that uh, slimy monster is... Coming from the harbor, I don't know how much I trust the guards you put in my employ, but they're um, reporting it. It glows those, for some reason. They those, say. Gods are the, those gods were the gods of Doro, to be honest. I tried my <laughs> best to whip them into shape, and Doro was the only one who I whipped into shape combat-wise, but mentally-wise, yeah. not so great. I'm just going to say, oh, please tell me it's not another oh, cracked wait. dinosaur. <laughs> I, I was about to say, crack <laughs> dinosaur. What the hell are um, you yes, talking it is about? A... I may story, or may we... not have fed crack to a slime. Okay, and then it turned into a crack dinosaur, and then we found out that the person who was raising them had an incestuous slime fetish. Now let's go take care of this slime before someone that has any bright ideas. Oh shit! Yeah, right. I don't think it was incestuous. It was just a slime and a man. Uh, it was slime kids and the man who was having lewd thoughts about them. Well, just about the mom, though. Oh, I'm sorry. You said that he was having lewd thoughts about slimes, and I immediately jumped to kids. I'm yeah, like, no, like, he has kids that are slimes, but, like, they're not adult slimes. I have no clue how the f Well, maybe he's a pedophile, too. I don't know. In this campaign, Will he is joining not... us, right? <laughs> Will you be joining us, Jones? Oh. Uh... I'd rather not. It's understandable with something like this. Uh, it's probably going to be something a little bit easier for us to handle. I wanted to see him in action, but okay. It's fun. You'll see, you'll probably see him in action a different time. For now, it's just going to be us. Let us I'm put our own medal to the test for the time being. I'm just going to look at the two of them, and it'll be like, Well, hey, I mean, we got three seasoned adventure veterans over here. We've got this. Yes, in fact, we do. It's down at the harbor, is what we were told, correct? Yep. I doubt the Archmage and Hydra's with us. No. Um, uh, Hydra... Are you taking them with you or not? I... Can expend hydra points to bring Miss Lippy with us, but do we uh, want to do that? Nah. Yeah. All right, then I am not bringing Miss Lippy with us. Uh, Terry ran off to do something. I oh yeah, Terry is doing some things. Scared to know what she's doing, so I think it's just going to be the three of us. Um, so information on this crack T Rex. What are we up against as we start heading towards the harbor? Uh, a, you don't feel crack. You don't crack T Rex, huh? <laughs> because we saw one glowing slime, and that's the only. I mean, he ob like Kraylin obviously has more experience with slimes than that, but that's the most recent. I mean, it's either a crack T Rex or more of the shadow creatures are attacking now, and it's again another defense of the city. So. Mm. Another, in that case, I understand the shadow creatures very well. Oh, yeah. um, That's a good thing. So how are we moving here, Meta? Like, is we just go straight into the darkness, or are we heading to the harbor? You just kind of start moving a little bit towards where you're going, and I'll just, like, bring up areas. Alright. Okay. Oh, shit, this is just the town map, just... Yeah, it's the town map with darkness. Yep. All right, then when Kralin's darkness gonna... falls, the Tooth Fairy comes to play. <laughs> oh, the harbor. Are they talking about like the market area? Is that where they're saying that it is? No, only be... I don't know which place you're talking about. Where um, Eduardo was when he was leaving. No. Oh, okay. 
All right, then I'm going to continue heading this way. Because we're checking, you have to check the entire seat, water side here. Yep. <laughs> that, that jumps into the water. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> There's a wall we have to walk through this area first before we can yep. get over there. Mm. All right. Yeah, but he's gonna somewhere. awkwardly wave at the Krakens. Yeah, the Krakens the, are there. Harvich is there for some reason. Where is this slime creature hiding? Possibly at the end, other end of the harbor. There was not much left on the other side. Uh, the Krillin's gonna, like, look over to the Krakens. And he's gonna just, like, sort of start to speak, but he's gonna be like, Do any of you speak Kraken? Uh, unfortunately, the only one who did know how to speak Kraken was Ikarath. It was Ikarath, and he was a Kraken rider as well. So, give me a moment. Oh, oh. Um, <laughs> I might be able to... Let me see what I have here. Uh, Kralin's gonna start doing interpretive dance, I guess. Unless we wanna wait. You hear a loud crashing coming from somewhere. I run in that direction. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing it's further back into the city. Well, I'm assuming it's the part that got the- <laughs> Fuck! I knew it! It was the crack dinosaur! Did it ex that thing? No, oh, you just incapacitated it and it flooded out into the water. Oh, oh fuck. Is there... is... It's grown Wait, a bit since you... then. Croc? Why is there a giant slime T Rex in the city? Oh, shit. The crack it dinosaur is... didn't it die. Is stomping. It, is, it is glowing green. It is stomping houses. It is climbing what is a rather. What let's, is let's... That? <laughs> let's draw it's this real quick. Titan. One second. It's climbing the Burning Man, isn't it? Oh my god. Roslyn, thank you, you savior. So, see this? That's, that's, no, the, that... that's, that's the, that's, that's that thing. That's that, the insane asylum tower. They're attacking the insane asylum. And it's climbing it. <laughs> no, no. Oh god, it's Godzilla and King Kong instead of versus. <laughs> It, they fuse together. And, and it uh, rises to the top of the tower and it roars, a mighty roar. <laughs> what in the... Yeah, that's a little bit bigger than what than what I remember. <laughs> Same. Okay. I was not expecting to fight a titan today, but here we are. Nor was I. Oh. I don't know. Oh, what trust me. Happened. After your first one, you'll get used to it. Do we have crossbow shots left? We have one, we have one ballista shot left. But the problem is, is that let me hold on, let me double check distance here. Ah, I'm actually in distance. <laughs> yeah, I'm in distance. That's with the multiplier active. Um. So I will send a message to Fer, uh, to Ferdinand. Uh, informing him, we need you on the crossbolt. There's a giant crack T Rex on the uh, on the insane asylum. Do you remember how much damage that thing did? I have it still on my character sheet, actually. Oh, good. Ballista shot plus seven to hit. It does three d ten plus one. How much was that again? Sorry. The ballista shot is a. Uh, plus 7 to hit and does 3d10 plus 1. 3d10 plus 1. All right. Oh, it nat 20s. Who is who Ferdinand is a fucking baller. Ferdinand goes up a level. <laughs> yeah. So, figure out him going up a level. And how much was he do? 3d10 oh, plus 1. Kay. So 6 plus 1. 6d10 Gotta... plus 1. All right, that work. Six, seven, fifteen, 
22, 32, 41 damage. There we go. 41 damage as the crossbow impales itself in the beast and it falls, falls to the floor and ground and crushes the house of Cyric in. Oh, well, there goes Dora's old favorite place. I'm actually surprised that wasn't destroyed in the first place because that would have been something I feel Rashak would have destroyed as it was uh, owned by Eduardo, but maybe she didn't know that. I'm just marking it dead in the in its map, so I have that as reference. But yeah, it can be rebuilt. It can be. I can do it very slowly if need be. Um, or you know, Terry could just do it in an instant. I'm I'm think Terry's a little angry with me. I should probably do it myself. Terry oh, wants yeah, Terry. Terry thinks you're not spending enough quality time with her. That's her deal. Well, maybe you guys could build it together. All right. <clears throat> Well, it looks like it's time to battle a Krakasaur. Yes, and Kralin is just like sighing, and he's putting away his weapon, and he's like, all right, can't get slime on it, so let's get this shit over with. And he's just nonchalantly like, you know, the... Have you guys ever seen, like, the McMahon walk? McMahon? Yes. The one where he, like, sways his arms like that. That is exactly what Kralin is doing all the way to the Krakasaurus Rex. And Terry shows up and goes, Oh my god, this thing's so disgusting! Yep, we know. I'll clean it right up! You gotta do what now? she, like, points out her wand, and you can see just large chunks of white just, like, lift up out of the, of the, the Krakasaur. Hey, it's losing crack. <laughs> and it kind of just deposits in little bricks in front of Kralin. I'm going to assume that's its crack in its armor. And it just turns back into a, a giant slime cube now that is just sitting where the inn used to be. Oh my god. We found a way to make crack. <laughs> you extract crack. You cast extract crack from on a crackasaur and you get crack. Yeah. And a giant slime cube. <laughs> All right, that is. Oh, wait, fan... I crack. What? <laughs> <laughs> we just. I have That's no such want of that. And Terry says, "See, I can't trust you with this city for five seconds." And she kind of walks away. Sorry, that's my bad. Uh, All right, he's I gotta gonna... go in twenty minutes, so like fifteen, okay. realistically. Yeah, Kralin's gonna walk up to the slime and you know that meme that's like this bad boy can fit so many it's like he's gonna walk up he's gonna slap the cube at literally anywhere anywhere is where it's ass is and he's gonna be like <clears throat> this bad boy can save. hold so much fuck i believe you're taking acid or poison damage for getting so close to the cube oh that oh well uh that was i rolled in that one anyway hold on hold on even with even moment, without please. disadvantage. One moment, please. Okay. Alvin's gonna make you re-roll it. Uh, okay. Go uh, re-roll that one. There you go. Okay, thank you. Let's just roll <laughs> another constitution save. Oh, okay. Almost a nat 20. Okay, so you only take four damage. And your hand does <laughs> not get stuck to the cube. But as you pull it away, it's burning. He's He's gonna, like... Wiggle waggle it off, and he's gonna like suck his thumb. And he's like, "Eh, disgusting." Yeah. Good try. I think we should dispose of the slime. Uh, does anyone have a giant top and or a giant who likes Jello? A giant who I don't know. Too any bad Shanny's who gone. Jello. Um, Shanny would have eaten that right up. Who? Sorry, not shit. I'm... Rosalind. Oh yeah, no, Rosalind would have loved that. I mean how how do you want to dispose of it, uh, Noxus? I don't know how, I just said we should. Um does anyone have fire? Fire works well against, you know, liquidus objects. 
I unfortunately do not have fire. I specialize in thunder. I pull out a tinder kit. I mean, that I have that. <laughs> um, so want to have Burning Man 2.0? Why not? I walk up to the building with a tinder kit. <laughs> I, I'm wondering if the fumes are going to do anything to us. Why do you think I'm standing over here? <laughs> um, yeah, no, we're just creating a new drug that Icarath hasn't tried yet. Gel or slime smoke. Do you want I'm within five? Let me see. One second. All right, roll initiative. Yeah. That was fair. I was waiting to see when we're going to roll initiative on this. Um, yeah. yeah. Rip is just going to represent the monster. Oh, 21 point. Oh, no. Uh, I lose a turn, guys. Van. I can't un I can't undo a one out of the All door. right, sort down. Hopefully we can get through this fight. Uh, All right. Okay, so Kraylin gets to go first. Okay. He is going to <clears throat> pull out his guitar again because you know what? Fuck it. She can get dirty for all he cares. And he's going to Smack four times. I'm spending a moxie point for the extra hit. So yeah, you can you can deal with it, Erolin. Okay, one, two, th three, four. If I have nineteen twenty, you hit on all of them. Yep. And I'm just imagining it's like a bunch of fat slaps against it. Uh, make four con saves, of course. Okay. Okay, damn. 36 on the nose. 36. This is this. That would be seven. Okay. 36 damage. 36. 19, 24, 11, 18. Sorry, I was just calculating remaining HP. Um, That's fine. So you got 19, 24, 11, and 18. And yep. one of the, let's see, so you would take four damage. Okay. Because, you know, you're just hitting it with your office. Oh, no, I'm slashing at it with my guitar. Oh, sorry. then you're fine, but your guitar takes that much damage. And is probably screaming at you in pain and agony and yelling and cursing and calling you a useless piece of shit. <laughs> luckily, it's a magical weapon. It may take damage, but at least it can... You know what? I'll take four psychic damage from that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it would be a d4, is... wouldn't it? I can roll that. Three damage. Okay, three damage. I'll add one back. Okay. <laughs> After he's done, he's just gonna hold his head. Um, you okay over there? Yep, just relationship problems. Ah, okay. We're both in the same boat here. Uh, make a deck saving throw. <laughs> Oh. Uh, Kralin and Nexus. I guess, and... 18. Elvin at this point, yeah. Oh. Ah, uh, here. Let me, uh, dexterity. Actually, do I have... So, okay, you're able to move slightly back. Kralin, you are able to move slightly to the side. Matt, I'm sorry. You've been eaten by slime. Yeah, pretty much. Cool. I'm not doing a good job of moving things. But <laughs> it's it's mostly there. We're fine. You are engulfed. Um You can't breathe, you're restrained, and you take sixty-six acid damage at the start of each of the cube's turns. Sixty-six? Yeah. Ooh, okay. I need to break out. Yeah. Um, and you take right now 3d6. You take 7, 11 acid damage. Okay. So... As the cube rolls up over top of you. So, 4 damage to my health. Okay. And then it's Nexus's turn. 
Uh, what do I need to do to break out? Um, you can take an action to make a strength check. I'm going to have to because uh, 66 is my entire health bar. Oh, no. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to give you a D4 to roll, Matt. Give Got me a it. second. I'm... No, I'm using the the thing. The chat stuff. Yeah, so you get to roll a d4 to add to it. Roll a d4. And Third. you make it by one. <laughs> I had a feeling the break DC was 12. So. Yeah. <laughs> and you make okay. it within uh, five well, feet I... of it. Okay. I'm and... going... Ooh. Yeah, then you have your movement. Uh, bonus action, activate Aldrich Claw. And then I'm going to take... Or it's going to try to hit me as I back the fuck away. Okay, so it gets a melee weapon attack. And that is a 16. That's my AC, so I th Yeah, that think. hits. We do equals hits and saves. Seven, ten damage. Okay. As it lashes out with tentacles of slime and you take that much acid damage, so it scars into your flesh. And it's Elvin's turn. I don't get a turn. Go to, go to oh, the next yeah. person. Kralin. Big, big, big slaps. Okay, another moxie point, another fat mood. Okay, four... Four slashes getting yelled at again. Yep. You okay. all of them. All, oh, okay. It's a slime. It has like an AC of eight, if I remember correctly. Six, actually. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's even lower. Okay, 13, 9, 11, 9. Okay, so 20, uh, 22. Or, no, not 22. 42. Yeah. And you, Jay, you hitting it with the guitar again, or your fists? Uh, I am hitting uh, with the guitar again, yes. Oh, yeah. And now since you did that again, she while you're doing it, for each time she that you hit, um, she's blasting you for each one of those. Mm-hmm. And you take 10 damage, 10 psychic damage. Um, and okay. you cut the slime cube to pieces and it just kind of oozes onto the ground towards your feet. So you might want to take a step back. Uh, yeah, he, he's going to step back, but he's probably going to fall to the ground because he's having such a massive headache. Oh, yeah. And that uh, is about yeah. where I have to go because I got the friend who needs okay. some help. Um, right. So I did not realize that I was going to kill him. That's my bind, guys. It's fine. Let's be focused on when we get back to this to cleaning up the slime and re putting starting to put the building back together. Yeah. Just the maybe projects it. never end. Yep. Yep. <clears throat> but thanks guys for watching. Who people who watched. We have normal session D D tomorrow uh at six o'clock. Uh and on Monday at six thirty. Um I'm sure we'll continue to occasionally have these episodes. Actually, if you guys want to try and plan more of these, being part of the Safe Falls crew, um, for mornings for me, like prior to like noon or one, uh, anytime it's a noon or one Eastern, I can usually make work. If you guys are able to collaborate around those upon occasion, okay. it'll be rough, but I might be able to do it. Yeah, just upon occasion. But thanks for playing; it was fun. You guys got some stuff. Oh, experience. Um, that thing says you each get some amount of experience. It's a calculator. So for the monster, you each get a... Why didn't I know that? 150 XP. And then you can take another 150 for the session. <laughs> All right. So... Thanks, guys, for watching, and we will talk to you all later.